Hello. What's up? Does this look inappropriate? It's my KKW perfume. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I applied too much bronzer today. I know I look a little cray cray right now, but I'm actually in the middle of filming another video. Uh, but I wanted to also film... Sorry guys, Alex Karev is leaving Grey's Anatomy and I'm freaking pissed. I know I look crazy, but I am bringing to you Omrizi X Anastasia. I'm so excited. Um, I am. I'm so excited. I had uh, I had Omrizi's first palette when she first came out with it, and that was like when I was first starting to get into makeup. Um, I didn't know how to handle makeup. You know, I wasn't that uh that gentle. <laughs> Um, and it actually broke on me and like three of the eyeshadows crushed so I literally threw it out because I don't ask me why I threw it out but I did like an idiot um, that was like when I was first getting started into makeup and then yeah I, she came out with her, her highlighter I purchased her highlighter it's freaking bomb and so when I saw this palette I was like yes bitch um, so beautiful love the packaging so this is the PR package it looks absolutely stunning I believe that this is available to purchase if it is I will link it down below this launches I believe Monday I'm gonna check for you right now it is a limited edition palette featuring 16 all new shades including an all new pressed glitter formula available on AnastasiaBeverlyHills.com and the UK first on 114 and then the palette will launch in retail online and stores starting 119 and is $49 USD so, um, it's made in the USA, it's paraben-free, gluten-free, cruelty-free, um, but it is more money than their other palettes. So, just keep that in mind, um, but you can purchase the PR package and have the PR experience, um, which is stunning. So, you open it up and there is a mirror in here, which I believe the mirror is actually sold separately as well. All the information will be listed down below. Um, this video should be up before the palette is available. Um, so, let's, let's dive right in. I literally didn't... I, I literally didn't want to play with this palette before I filmed with it. Every time they send me a palette, I'm like, oh my god, I get to dive into it. I never wait for my, my first video to like actually do it, but I decided to wait for this one. So this is what it looks like. Beautiful packaging, super cute. It's glitter. It's not really coming off, which I enjoy. Um, and this is what the mirror looks like, guys. Super cute. It's nice and small. The handle fits perfectly. I have this one from the Alyssa Edwards collab, and this one is like gigantic, and this one is pretty small. So I kind of like, I like both honestly, but I like the small one a little bit better. Really good mirror. Really, really, really good quality. Love the rhinestones. It's definitely her, like Barbie pink. Okay, let's get into the palette. So this is what the palette looks like. Let me remove this. Wow, it's literally stunning. So this is what the palette looks like. 16 shades. Stunning. I'm going to go ahead and do some swatches for you. Um, but I want to get into it. Like, I want to get into the tutorial. So I think we should. Let's zoom in. Okay, so we're going to zoomy zoom in a little quick. A little. Um, I don't really know what like I want to, what, I, what look I want to do. I really want to use Barb because it's literally stunning. But I also want to use Liddy because why wouldn't I want to use Liddy? But Anastasia is actually really pretty too. So I think I have a good feeling about this. Not a good feeling, but I think I know what I want to do. So I think... So I already have concealer on my eyes. I already have concealer on my eyes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a brush. This is a Smith 232 brush. And I'm going to go ahead and grab OG and New Yorker. New Yorker, you know, I'm from New York, so, New Yorker, and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and mix those two together, so I'm kicked back in the pan, it doesn't bother me, and we're just going to go ahead and blend this in the crease, I'm going to go ahead and drag it towards like that um, nose contour I got going on there, and super pigmented, I feel like, these are really nice. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm going to take a little bit of, I think I want to take Shemsa. I want to take Shemsa in the outer corner. I just think that that will look bad. I think I'm going to just do it. I'm just going to do it, okay? I'm just going to do it. So I'm going to take this Smith 230 brush and I'm going to take Shemza and I'm going to lightly start putting this in the outer corner. Let's see what this looks like. This color might get lost because I'm going to go in with the darker brown on top of it, but I just want the color actually it's beautiful I don't want to bring it out too much I'm just gonna keep the outer V pretty small it's pretty it's really pretty I'm gonna go back in with that same brush that I used to apply OG in New Yorker and throw that right over top Shemza is a beautiful color like it's like purpley it's like pinkish purple it's so nice I'm gonna go in with a little bit of just OG just to help just to help blend this. Whatever is left on my brush with Shemza, I'm gonna go in and just drag it just a little bit in this crease. I don't want it too concentrated there. I just want a little bit of it. I don't know why I'm not using her mirror. Duh. This is a Smith 247, and again I'm gonna pick up 1988 and just pack this on and just blend this out like that yeah like that that's pretty much what I was going for I just didn't know if Shenza was gonna like turn muddy or if anything was gonna blend nicely on top but I like that you can still see the tone of it you know and you know what I think I'm gonna leave it like that and just pick up a little bit more of Shemza and just kind of pack a little here yeah I think that's it I'm going to take a little bit of concealer because you guys know that's what I like to do. Taking whatever is left on my brush with Shemza and just bringing this that way. So I think I'm going to pick up Anastasia on a brush because it's just so beautiful. This shade right here. I'm going to pick up Anastasia and Barb. Barb is going to go in the inner corner and Anastasia is just going to go on the lid. Barb is beautiful, so I just want to incorporate it somehow. And I'm just going to take Anastasia. This shade has a lot of fallout on my face. I'm going to wet my brush a little bit because it's pretty... I don't want to say crumbly, but it is pretty dusty. What if I use my finger? Definitely use your finger with that shade because I just feel like a brush just makes it hard. I'm going to take my brush with Shemza on it and just diffuse this outer edge a little bit. Like where the two meet. But I'm trying not to lose that Anastasia color because it's so pretty. Can you guys see it? It's really, really beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and take Barb now. This is a Zoeva 237 Detail Shader. Ooh. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Can you guys see that color? Can you see that shade? That's the eye look. I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye off camera. We'll do the lower lash line. So for the lower lash line, I'm just going to keep it super simple. All I did was took 1988. And I'm just taking a flat definer brush and pushing it up against my lower lash line. I don't like bringing in the color all the way. I stop about like two thirds of the way. I don't hit the inner corner. 
I'm actually taking a little bit of Brooklyn, which is the br back, which is BK. Um, and I'm just taking this on the outer corner. And I'm pretty much going to mix Shemsa and OG. And throw that on the lower lash line as well. I'm just going to take a little bit of New Yorker and OG and just blend this out a little bit more just so we get a nice fade. Right here on the lower lash line as well in the inner corner. And I'm actually going to bring it in a little bit so like that reflect can hit the lower lash line because I just think it's so beautiful. Like I want more shades in this formula right now like it is stunning. It is stunning. If you guys couldn't tell, I'm filming two videos at once. You guys really can't tell because you haven't seen the second video, which will be up next after this. Um, so don't be alarmed when you see the same eye look and the same shirt in that video because I, I did have a different shirt on, but I'm a little too lazy right now. Anyway, let's go ahead and chat about this. This palette is absolutely beautiful. I love, I love these shades. They are amazing. Barb is my favorite color. Um, it's my favorite formula. It's literally so beautiful. I'm going to insert swatches in a little bit. Um, but I just think it's stunning. I have Barb on the inner corner, on the upper and the lower lash line. And it just looks so beautiful. It's so iridescent. It pulls in a lime green and then a gold and then a pink. And it's just, it's really beautiful, honestly. It's it's a beautiful color. Um, these shades are beautiful. I've only played with a few of them. Um, I cannot wait to play with more of these shades up here. I pretty much played with all the mattes. Anastasia has one of my favorite shadow formulas. They are a little bit powdery and a little bit dusty, you know, with the kickback in the pan, but I don't mind that. Um, like my soft glam palette is legit a disaster because there's so much kickback in there. As long as the shadow performs well on the face, I think it's a beautiful palette. I did worry that um, Shemsa and 1988 were going to blend and become muddy because sometimes I feel like um, shadows like this, um, they can, they tend to like not mix well with others, but it's really pretty. I feel like this is a, uh, is a pressed pigment. I have to figure this out if it is, um, because if it is, then it blend absolutely beautifully for a pressed pigment, especially coming from like Anastasia. I've had trouble with their pressed pigments, especially if it's a matte. Um, but I think that this palette is absolutely stunning. I, I fuck with it. I do. I fuck with it. It is a gorgeous palette. Um, very versatile you can literally do anything with this palette which i love and i love the pop of blue in there um at first when i saw the palette i was like what the fuck is that random blue doing there um but it's actually a gorgeous gorgeous blue color um so i think that this all over the lid would literally look stunning and so shout out to anastasia and amrezi congratulations this is beautiful thank you guys so much for sending it over to me no this video is not sponsored i am just a very excited makeup artist who was super happy to get this in pr and i'm very 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 grateful i say that in every video that i do when anastasia sends me a package Please know everything that I'm saying is coming from the bottom of my heart. And if I didn't like something, I would say it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. On side note, can we just, can like, I just have a moment to appreciate that the black isn't at the end of the palette. Like for some reason, I hate when blacks are at like the, the wee end of the palette. Like, come on, like put a black first. You know what I'm saying? No, maybe not first, but like, you know, somewhere in here. I just, for some reason, aesthetically, I love that the black isn't at the end of the palette. I don't know why it's a little strange but that's just me that's just me so let's go ahead and do some swatches so first shade we have is wasted which is a really pretty pale color really pretty next we have barb which again my fave shade absolutely stunning then we have liddy which is a pressed glitter gorgeous it has a lot of payoff for being a pressed glitter then we have Cupcake, again, really, really pretty. We have a Dragon, Leo, Gemini, which is again a pressed glitter. And then we have Gorgina, 
which is so beautiful. That with a smoky eye will look stunning. Second row, we have Reezy. Anastasia. New Yorker. OG. Shemsa. I definitely think this, this shade is a pressed pigment. It has to be. With the way it swatches, it just feels like one. 1988. BK. Brooklyn. And then we have Yugo. So here we have the palette, absolutely beautiful. said this palette is absolutely stunning I definitely recommend you getting your hands on it if the price difference is bothersome to you I could understand it because the rest of their palettes I believe are $42 don't quote me on how much um, Jackie and Carly's palettes were um, I'm not sure if because of the new formula in here um, that's why it's a little bit more money but you're getting such good quality eyeshadows and I mean like the brush that they send in the palette is actually pretty good too. Like I fuck with this brush. I have so many of them. So I mean you get a dual ended brush. You get the 16 shades. Like you get a beautiful palette. It's absolutely worth it. It's so gorgeous. Um, these shades are absolutely stunning. Congratulations Amra. Congratulations Anastasia and Norvina. The palette is beautiful. I'm very happy. It's gorgeous. I love it. I have no, I have no complaints. I truly, I have no complaints yet. When I use... Well, we do know that some of the shades stain because this is what my hair looks like. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That completes this video. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to see what Anastasia has in store for us this year. It's going to be awesome. And I cannot wait to keep playing with this palette. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. I'll probably do like an IGTV or I'll post more looks on there opposed to YouTube. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. Um, this video should be up the day that it's launched. Info will be down below in the bottom bar. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. <gasps> Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye.